seven. They've never met. Um, both extremely gritty kids, hard wrestling kids, and uh, it's going to be another fun one. We look forward to this one. They're just about ready to get it underway. As we said, number six versus number seven. Happel is a he's a junior from Lisbon, Iowa, not Lisbon, Portugal. <laughs> and he's ranked 70, 12 and four. And uh, Jamison, 14 and four, and he is a redshirt freshman from Durant, Oklahoma, transferring in from Minnesota. Had an injury in a duel back in December, slowed him down a bit to Jamison, but he's come back pretty strong since then, the past couple of weeks. We mentioned these two have never met, but they obviously were in the same bracket at uh, the Cliff King tournament where Happel placed fourth. And Jameson placed it there as well. They both had some real, a real good tournament for both of these young men at that at that tournament. Both guys first first year to be starters mm -hmm. in the lineup and making something out of it. That's right. This series, by the way, it's 29 and four Oklahoma State favoring in the series, dating back to 1962. Last year, a tight one up at at uh, Northern Iowa. It was 1917 Oklahoma State. Shot there by Happel, not a real serious one. Yeah. Happel's been a couple of time NCAA qualifiers, never made that podium just yet. But once again, where he's ranked right now. But like we like we always tell our kids, right? You still got to wrestle those matches. Well, of course, the good news is as long as you stay in the top eight, top ten, you're through the end of the season. You're going to get a, a good seeding at the NCAA, mm -hmm. and then theoretically, you'll first couple of rounds you'll wrestle people not. Not as good as you are, so to speak, supposedly, but you know how that goes. Right. On paper, you've got a good chance. But as one old coach told me once, this duel's not wrestled on paper, it's wrestled on Resolite or yeah. whatever the surface was at the time. <laughs> I've been watching Happel here with his offensive attacks there. He's been he's been getting to that right leg of mm -hmm. Jameson. Right? And also he's kind of got a little, I don't want to call it a post double, but he's posting and changing his level. But watch, watch that left arm get to that right leg here of Jameson he's real quick. He's had it a couple of he's times. Yeah. He's touched it for sure and had a had a hand on it there. Jameson was able to get it back. So let's see if he gets back to that. And it's kind of throwing Jameson off a little bit. 7-0 the dual score. A regular decision and a major decision for Oklahoma State the first two matches. And... <laughs> Banged into each other then. They both made a move at the same time. Jamison hasn't really gotten off a good attempt. Right. It's kind of, it's maybe filling each other out here. 20 seconds left. Like we said, no significant attacks. Who's been, that right there, there it is. He's got his, ooh, Happel's got a grip on him. He's got a just good little grip. In. Just couldn't pull it in. Just couldn't pull it in. But that's what I was talking about. It's kind of, it's, it's sneaky. He's changing his levels and just, Reaching his arms don't look that long from here, but man, he's got there a couple of times during that first period. Apple's choice, he defers, so Jamison chooses bottom. You know, you see some of these guys, they're rare that, especially on a double leg, they'll shoot a double and they'll barely have their fingers behind the other guy's knees, and they're so cotton thick and strong, they still pull the guy in. I've seen a few, you know, Jordan Burroughs, a few people like that. Alec Deringer, the same thing for, for Oklahoma State. Guys like that say, oh, well, he can't pull that in. Yeah. And then they do. <laughs> Joe Williams is another. Joe I can, Williams. I can yeah. attest to that for sure. Escaped by Jameson, and Happel didn't seem totally serious about the ride. Happel's been the aggressor on his feet so far. He's had the hands behind the hand behind the knee, just haven't been, hasn't really come close to pulling the leg in. If if maybe even look out for a knee tap there. Next one of these is a little shot by Happel. I would think Jameson might be hit with a stalling call. He's not really made an aggressive move yet. It's it's close. There, there it, is. it is. You just called him. Yep. And smart by Happel. I don't think he was totally serious on that, but he did enough where he got the stall call. That it, could be big later on. It's enough to put the pressure on the other wrestler, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, it's it's it, it's chess, not checkers, as we say. So obviously, Jamison knows that now, so he's kind of got to get his offense going. And obviously, watch that lead leg. Happel's going to get back to that. That's been his go-to so far this whole, this, you know, period and a half that we've been wrestling so far. 
John Smith unhappy last week because Jamison didn't really turn it on to the last 30 seconds and, and it cost him in a tight match. And he hasn't really done anything to speak of in this one and we're just 42 seconds left in the second. Good hand fighting, but good, no real attacks. Good hand fighting, a lot of action in the middle. There's there. Happel in, and watch out. Jameson wants to try to whip him over. In deep is Happel. Yeah. Jameson throws a little whizzer in. Got to watch the knees in the spot like this. Mm -hmm. Jameson's also got, uh, I think they're going to sit there. I was going to say Jameson's going to have to watch Happel's left leg of reaching it over. 16 seconds left in this second period. Like we mentioned, Happel's been the aggressor. Jameson does have a stall call so far. John Smith went out to the edge and shouting something Jameson, I, I'm sure, is something like, don't do what you did last week and, and piddle around for six and a half minutes. I think they want him to get his offense going. Yes, Obviously, yes, we know don't he, piddle around. you got to yeah. get after it. We know he has the offense to score points because he's done it all season. So right now he's trying to he's trying to figure out this safe that Happel's putting on him right now. And Happel, Happel's doing a good job of being the aggressor. Um, obviously, you still got two minutes left to wrestle right here um, and see what type of adjustments Jamison makes in this third period. And he's got to be smart because sure. he does have that stall call, too. Only point on the board, the escape in the second by Jamison. Now it's Apple's turn. Quickly to his feet and out of there easily. So 1-1 one, one on the board. Driving time, only three seconds difference, so nothing there yet. Back to that same right knee attack by Happel. And he's in there again. Jamison sprawling and now wants to throw over. Oh! And he does! Oh, but no takedown. Happel did a great job good, good. getting out of danger there. <laughs> but this is where Jamison still has to be offensive because that was off of Happel's action. Sure was. Very close to being taken down near fall, but Happel spun out of there the last second when it looked like he might have been pretty well wrapped up yeah. by Jamison. Got me over here. <laughs> saying some stuff. Now, does Happel say, I'm going to try that again, or does he say, mm, I better watch that position? And Happel's level change has been better than Jameson mm -hmm. so far. That's what kind of got him in on that leg there. Good counter by Jameson, but he's got to match Happel's level change. Happel, not afraid of it, goes back toward the right knee again, but Jameson dodges it. Now, Jameson shoots at the same time, but here comes Happel. Jameson in trouble here, and there's the takedown by Happel. That was a big one there. So four one happen with 45 seconds left. And that's where that's where Happ that's where Happel's been. Here's that takedown right here by Happel. Little level change. Jameson shot at the same time. Good re-attack there. That was actually a re-attack there. Those other ones, he was in first. They kind of banged heads a little bit. Happel ends up securing a three-point takedown with 45 seconds left with a 4-1 lead right now. And riding time will not be a factor in the match no matter what. Nobody can have a minute riding time. So 4-1 Happel. Jameson, of course, has to fire out of there and get something going. Happel says, I want to hold him down. Mm -hmm. Jameson is out, 4-2. 30 seconds left. Just very much like the match last weekend. Exactly. Ended up 4-3, I believe. Jameson coming in. Happel staying away. And Happel can stall here because he didn't have a stalling call against him. Not letting Jameson get in tight. Eight seconds left, and Happel looks like he's going to hold on and handle this one with that one great takedown. Yep. And that'll do it. 4 2. Happel the winner in a good match where he was the aggressor most of the way. So 4 2 Happel, 7 3, the dual score. It was a nice toss up type match yeah. as we thought yep. it might be. Yep, yep. Smart match by Happel right there. Very like good. I said, secured that takedown with about, what was it? 